Tanner Houck, 2 and 1 on the season, an earned run average of 2.04. That's after three starts for the ball club that still has the top starting rotation in all of baseball, ERA wise, the Boston Red Sox. As Quan gets in, he has hit safely in eight consecutive games. And he'll fly that one into shallow left. Duran is in. One pitch, one out. Jimenez at 303. Slapped to the right side. Costas with a backhand will flip it on to Hout. Two up and two down. Trying to retire the side in order. Ground ball takes a big hop. Costas equal to that. And once again runs that route to Tanner Hauk. And it's a 1 2 3 start for Tanner. The Guardians going with right hander Ben Lively, his Cleveland debut last season with the Reds. 12 starts, 4 and 7. An earned run average of 5.3. Eight parts of four seasons in the major leagues for Lively and also three years pitching in Korea. Jaron Duran will lead it off for Boston. Broken bat line to short for out number one. Here's Raphael Devers in the lineup tonight. He is DHing. He tweaked his knee and had to leave last night's game, but nothing seriously wrong, but he'll DH tonight. Fly ball right field. That goes Florial. Just a couple of steps. Two down. That'll bring up Tristan Casas. He homered last night. Got him looking. Fastball inside corner. There you and go. a one, two, three first inning in his Guardians debut. Josh Naylor leads off the second inning. Hard hit ball into right field. And a leadoff single for Josh Naylor here in the second. Yeah, he got on top of that one. There's the first hit. First base runner of the game. And Will Brennan coming up. Red Sox nemesis who had a pinch home run on Monday to break a scoreless tie is at 222. A little comebacker that was on the slider. Throw down the second one on the first double play. Red Sox turn it and it starts with Hauk on the hill. Like I said going to that slider. Just good footwork too. Look see how he turns to get in position to make that throw too. A lot of guys will get boxy they'll try to field it. He gets it off to that side gets in a good throwing position. Throws a dart to Hamilton and completes the double play. Swing and a miss. That one disappeared down and in. A nasty splitter. And that retires the side. So after one and a half, 0-0. Zero, zero. So the Red Sox have a base runner. Abreu, when things are going well, will take his walks. And he's on in front of Valdez. The runner goes. And it's swung on and missed. And trotting down to second base. That'll be a stolen base for Abreu while Valdez strikes out. And that's second K for Lively. Right-handed hitting catcher batting 355. Broke his back. Jimenez will take care of it. Two down. And up comes David Hamilton. Let's see if this is playable. Quan racing over and cannot, or he did. He did make the basket catch. Yeah, it's degree of difficulty. There's not a lot of foul territory. Like maybe enough room for one person in foul ground over there. Nice catch. Nice by scoop catch. Top third, no score. Red Sox in Cleveland. Ooh, nasty one there. The slider he missed it by a lot too. Second strikeout for the right-hander. One away in the inning. Swinging a high fly ball into left field. Duran onto the track. He's there. And two down. Swing and a miss. That one right by him. Another slider. He fans two in the third inning. Well, Hauk looks good. They had an ERA of 204 coming in. This Boston rotation's been lights out. The number eight hitter, Pablo Reyes. And there's his there's base the single. There's the single. So he wants a double, a couple of RBIs, and a win tonight. You know the ladder is what we want most. The top of the order, and Duran is lined to short 0 for 1. And a fly ball into left field, pretty well hit. Vaughn is back there, now turning around to play it off the green. Reyes is into third. He will stop there. It'll be a double for Duran for the second night in a row. So now the Red Sox with the runners at second and third. One out in the third, no score. The infield in. The batter is Raphael Devers. Swing and a miss. Boy, got the strikeout he needed. Moved it in and crowded Devers a little bit. Gets his fourth strikeout. It keeps the runners at second and third. Now there are two men out. And Tristan Casas the batter. And he looks and time called. And a balk called. one nothing Boston. The runner at third's going, huh? What's going on? And now here comes manager Stephen Vogt. Ben Lively is saying, why am I being called for a balk? And you're not able to argue a balk call without being injected. But... Stephen Vogt wants an explanation. So there's a rule that you have to declare if you're going from the stretch or the hybrid. It looks like it's straight going towards 
but he goes to the side a little bit. And there's two away here in the fourth inning as Connor Wong steps in. High fly ball left field. Kwan turning around. Watch this one. It is gone into the monster seats. Connor Wong, who's been on a home run binge as of late, he connects for a solo shot, and the Red Sox are on top 2 0. This is the first time a Red Sox starter has pitched in the seventh inning this season. And a fly ball to center field. Rafaela with a play, cruising back a bit. And a 3 1 pitch, he gets him to fly to center. Another fly ball to center, that one more off the end of the bat. Rafaela puts that one away in two down. That's what you're seeing right there. Guys are trying to jump on pitches, not trying to work the count. They feel like, man, I can't get behind. And another fly ball to center field. You know, Dennis Eckersley's here tonight. He loves to refer to Tanner Howe as Doc Holiday. Well, this is just what the doctor wrote her tonight. He's been tremendous. 74 pitches, 55 strikes, and now we'll take on six, seven, and eight in their batting order as we go to the eighth inning. And puts him away. He strikes him out, claims another helmet. Third strikeout for Florial tonight. And number eight for Tanner. Yeah, goes with the slider again, just buries it at the bottom of the zone. That split slider, slider, split, slider, slider, split, slider. So the next game's got to be another slider if we're going to go with how it's been all night. 2-2, two, two, swung on and missed. He missed it by a ton. That deadly slider gets another guy his ninth strikeout. Edges a routine ground ball to Dahlbeck up and over. This is unbelievable this day and age. The Red Sox have a pitcher getting ready to go to the ninth inning. 2-0 Boston. Duran with his second hit. And it'll bring up Raphael Devers. Duran leads the league in steals, and one would expect he'll be running here at some point. In the dirt. Hedges throws to second, and they got him! Yes. Wow, what a job by both Hedgy and Rocchio to retire Duran. You know, Duran took off as soon as he saw it was in the dirt. So he took off taking the chance, but Hedgy did a nice job jumping on it, making the throw, and a good uh, fielding play by Rocchio. Watch this. He's off and running. He jumped on it, spins, and makes a throw, and then gets the tag. Nicely done. Easily the best performance the Red Sox have had this season, and by a long shot. Two up, two down in the ninth. And a ground ball to the middle. Hamilton up and over. And what a performance tonight by Tanner Houck. A complete game. The first by a Red Sox pitcher since May 28, 2022. Incredible. Red Sox win it two to nothing. Tanner Houck with the best night of his major league career. Absolutely sensational. Yeah, he's tucking that ball in the back pocket as he should.